What is going on guys? It's the Upside Down Chair here. I am back again. Please stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to see a big announcement that I'm making. And yeah guys, so let's get right into the video. So, I was on YouTube earlier, you know, looking through about FIFA. You know, watching FIFA videos. And a recommended video from Matt HD Gamer come up. And it was talking about FIFA 20 Pro Clubs, like a FIFA 20 Pro Clubs update. And what's going to be happening with Pro Clubs, stuff like that. So I thought... How have I missed this? Yeah, got it turns out this video is two weeks old. I'm so late to the party on this that I might as well be flimming not talking about it. It's like everyone already knows. But I'm going to talk about it anyway. Give what like my opinion is on what's happening and what's being changed and what's being added and stuff like that. And yeah, so get right into it. So the first thing that he have officially confirmed is the new avatar system. What does this mean? It means that it will be replacing the player creation across the whole game. So the brand new feature will like uh, how to put this in the in the good way. So what they're basically doing is scratching the whole player creation. So no matter what you look like, your player will always have a like a certain look. No, they're not doing that now. Everyone's player will look different simply just for the fact that now they are doing a editing thing. So what it is is that they're throwing this avatar system basically makes it far greater and easier for users to edit the capabilities of what your player looks like in a visual characteristic. They've also changed it from the visual characteristics as well and now added an option to allocate your player to more than one position. So they've also um, put in some new positions including left forward, right forward, right wing back and left wing back. They did also announce that there'll be a left mid and right mid however that's already in the game so knowing EA that is a mistake. Uh, so the new positions that are adding are left forward, right forward and the two wing backs. Along with the new positions a revitalised player progression system will be put in available as well. So what that means if you change your height plates, your, like your player's position, height or weight it will impact the terms of how your player moves and feels so if you're a heavier taller player your player may feel slower and clunk clunkier to use but if you've got a smaller lightweight player your player will be fast and very nimble so it's just sort of sh trying to make it more lifelike in a way with this i've heard that they've actually capped the maximum height to six foot seven as well instead of six foot nine um, whether this is true or not, I'm not sure. But all I know is that in FIFA 20, it, when if you change anything to your player's height, weight, and stuff like that, once you've set it, it will impact its pace and stuff like that as usual. Um, as a result of community feedback as well, they've changed stamina that's being tweaked. Um, from what I was reading, it says where users will now have to sacrifice other attributes to invest in pace and stamina, which is good because stamina was a bit overpowered in FIFA 19, as we all know. I mean, you could sprint a whole match and your player wouldn't be knackered, so which is a good thing. But what I mean is, your player could still have half a bar of stamina after sprinting an entire match. So hopefully. It's good that they're tweaking it, but this can go into a negative thing where if they tweak it too much, your player's going to be knackered after an entire 90 minutes, which isn't what people want. They they still want to be able to run around on the 90th minute. It's just they won't have as much stamina as what they would in FIFA 19. They'd have maybe a quarter of a bar left if that. So as long as they don't go too overboard with this, this is a good thing. Um, Starting off um, is the Pro Club's journey as well that's been changed and tweaked so everyone will now start off at an 80 rating um i believe it was 75 or 79 between that um 80 if you had certain traits as well now it's just everyone starts off at 80 if you use traits you'll, you'll get higher so that that's a new thing as well uh, it says in order to progress you must participate in drop-in league and cup matches nothing new there um Obviously, you'll still have your normal player traits as which we have. Um, however, they have added an extra 30. Some of these that have been confirmed are stuff to do with stamina and strength. That's just from what we've seen on sort of the Pro Club's customization screenshot for the new player traits thing that was released. They have also changed the broadcast settings. So, a big part of EA's focus this year was on rebranding the game mode. To do this, they have added a broadcast feature including player transitions, wipes, personalized club banners. And a scream on a water scream uh, on a what on a scream watermark, okay, and a new pro clubs logo. So that's new, and you can also have a banner determined by a team's colour. So yet again, just more personalisation for your club and stuff like that. So sort of like your players, but this is more customisation for your club. Um, it says overlays will now be included during match introductions and half time, 
and when a goal is scored. These visual effects will help users to become more immersed in a broadcast with a match experience. And each match type will have different colours as well. They've also changed the goal celebrations, so I'm going to tell you about this now. So the goal celebrations in FIFA 20 um, have completely changed. The users will celebrate with their entire team and orchestrate like a unique routine as in like the old FIFA games so instead of sc instead of say you scoring and you running off and the camera zooms in on you and you do like a personal celebration now it will zoom out and keep a wide screen so your whole team can get involved with the celebration um, which a lot of people actually preferred actually but you know which was quite shocking I used to like the unique celebrations but yeah again it's, it's not really it's a big change but it doesn't really impact anybody unless you're scoring goals. The match types. Now we've had a change in match types on FIFA 20 as well. So there'll be a further two new ways to play. There'll be a house rules cup and a practice mode. House rules cup is the same as a house rule from kickoff mode. But now your virtual pros. With now your virtual pros. So basically what that tells me is there'll be stuff like heads and volleys. Stuff like that. Um and that'll be we also get a new match type will be rotated every day of the week so yeah one day it could be heads and balls the next day it could just heads and volleys so one day then and then the next day it could just be like i don't know a random game mode we also have a practice match coming in all that is is from what i've read we can select a team like our team and then we select a bunch of ai's and bots to go against them we get to select the level and their tactic and play against them and see how we can play against them how to beat them stuff like that um this is a good thing but obviously there's people where that are will you know just for the sake of it don't think they're as good as what they are or you know will sort of alter the skill mode to like a beginner and then just smash for it if that's the case the good thing is then they can just go higher i know these skill modes go from beginner to legendary so that's a good thing as well so we can now have a look and like face ai's like with different strategies and see how to beat them incorporate our own strategies um so requested improvements so fifa said that they've been listening in to uh user feedback and tackled some of the most requested improvements these are any stamina bugs so stamina empty quicker for the player control in the any position center back in the wall taller forwards and midfielders are now automatically placed in the wall to defend a free kick goalkeeper set piece Game stability will no longer be affected when you have a goalkeeper as a captain and your team has a set piece. And the club trophy celebration is just where you're, if your pro clubs win a cup of any type, you can now watch the full celebration. It says another huge frustration among the FIFA pro clubs community has been the kit clashing. In order to help combat the issue here, I've added over 25 new customizable kits, as with all over 150 crests to select from. Furthermore, new pre-match kit select screen will appear before the match so it's basically like a kickoff now like when you go like say you select man united versus i don't know i don't know any team and they have the same color kit it's kit clashing so what you do now is you'll get a home and a y and an alternate kit so your kit doesn't clash with the other team that you're playing this is good because now obviously yeah, again there's no kit clashing you know who's on whose team stuff like that um and that's it really so from what the, the i've seen here all the changes that they've made to FIFA Pro Clubs in FIFA 20 are good changes. They all, they're all changes that obviously all the competitive players want, but they've also made changes to bring in more casual players because obviously some people don't want to play competitive Pro Clubs. They just want to come in and have casual matches. Sometimes the competitive players just want casual matches as well. So this is both changes for competitive players like myself and casual players that want to get involved in Pro Clubs and just don't want to play competitively all the time so from what i can tell all these changes are positive changes obviously they can turn into negative like the stamina change if it is abused or tweaked too much um but yeah guys that's all i have to talk about about fifa 20 update to pro clubs i did say i'd have a big announcement at the end of this video and here it is so i was looking the other day on my channel and i've got a video which is now up to 1.1k views i think it is the how to control your goalkeeper on fifa 19 pro clubs video if i remember right off the top of my head um obviously to a lot of people this wouldn't mean anything to me this is actually a very big benchmark for me it's my first video to reach over a thousand views it is especially impressive because we've only got 33 subscribers and i couldn't do this without you guys so i'm going to give something back to you guys so when fifa 20 is released 
I am going to be doing a competition to give away a copy of it on the PlayStation 4. Um, obviously, closer towards the time, I will tell you guys how to enter this competition, how you can win, and stuff like that. So, that is going to be going on as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so make sure that you do stay tuned to this video, to all my videos, so I can tell you more about this in the future. I am going to be bringing out another FIFA 19 Pro Clubs video on the goalkeeper because I found out some little tweaks and stuff as well to make your life easier. Um, and yeah guys that is all for this video please like if you like please hit the thumbs up button if you like it and yeah if you're new to this video please and new to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you can get a notification on your phone or on your computer every time I am doing a live stream or if I want to do another video like this or any video in general if there is a video that you guys want to see feel free to comment below what you want to see on I will try and get it done as soon as possible if I can and yeah guys that's all from me i'll see you guys next time